Yo, yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new league racing video. This is round number 10 of WR. Oh, I got a 5 match grid penalty for blocking. Hold that. That's the first time. <laughs> I'm gonna give you 10. Get out, I'm gonna get disqualified, you idiot. And as you can see, I just got a 5 match grid penalty, which is basically a weekly occurrence in F1 23 league racing. Um, but as you can see by the standings there, we are leading by 38 points to Lucas Blakely after yeah, Barcelona, where we finished third. Uh, which is a bit of a disappointment, because I felt like I was definitely the fastest, but just when the wet weather hit, uh, we had a bad setup on. So make sure to check out that video if you have missed it. And today, Lucas is driving again as well. Uh, last week he was not there, so our championship rival, unfortunately, is back. <laughs> but um, yeah, today we're going to try and extend the championship lead again, of course. So, um, in this Q1 session, um, I'm going to try and make it into Q2 on a single set of tires. Joni Tormala, uh, provisional P1 with a 108.329, but Xander van Dijken immediately improves to a 0 0.0. So, um, we're going to have to try and do a 107, perhaps, if we want to do this on a single set of tires. As I say that, Nicolas Longe puts in a 107.9. Um, but yeah, thus far it's been a pretty clean lap for us. I haven't done any Q1 practice, to be honest. Um, as you guys saw, my last league race video I was sick in PSGL. I got better, but then I got sick again. Um, basically on Saturday and today on the league, uh, league race day, which was Sunday, yesterday. So uh, Lucas Blakely, our championship rival, goes to provisional P1. And we're going to try and improve on that. Easy said and done, though. Um, DRS opens. Nice. DRS didn't open. As my... Again. DRS button didn't Only work. Like so that's 20 time this week. A cost us around half a tenth for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, so we had to go out again because it was a little bit too risky uh, with that lap time. I was two and a half tenths up, but um, I knew I was going to make it into Q2. So I decided to take the final two corners a little bit cautiously, a little bit off the limit. Uh, as you can see, I went purple middle sector and yeah, just didn't feel the need to... Uh, put in a purple last sector as well. Uh, P6 is enough, of course, in Q1. Um, we ended up in P8 actually there, around one tenth off, which is around what we lost in the final two corners. So, um, yeah, good enough for us. And out in Q1 were Otis, Danny Moreno, um, Joni Tormala, and Patrick Sipos. Now, Otis had a quali band, so he didn't drive. I think Patrick might have had a quali band as well. So. Yeah, only two people out really in Q1 here. Um, and yeah, Q2 coming up now. Uh, we've done a lap on the used tires already, but we are two tenths up on that going into the chicane. And we're gaining another tenth as we go through the chicane. And then we're going to try and find another half a tenth through the final corner, which we managed to almost do. Up to the line, DRS did open this time, which helps. Um, 3.1 tenths is a good improvement compared to... Uh, one lap all tires, and you can see we go to Provisional Pole, and Nicholas Longe behind us, Lucas Blakely behind us, so um, looks like we actually managed to save a set of tires in Q2 here, um, with uh, Tom Manley, Jake Benham, Isvan Puki all going faster than us. Um, Jake only did one run as well, Isvan and Tom did have to go out again, so um, yeah, we looked fast in Q2, um, a lot faster than Q1, and maybe we just had to Get warmed up a little bit. Nicolas Longe out in P11 there, as you can see. Um, Nicolas in P3, of course. So he is a championship rival of us. And that is helping us nicely in the championship to extend it to P3. However, we want Paul in Q3. And on our first lap, we the do... The didn't quite stick. Uh, 0.648. And as you can hear me say, the rear didn't quite stick in the last sector. Um, but as you can see there, top six covered in two... 0.7 one hundredths of a second. The top six. It is crazy. Um, unfortunately for Isvan, he disconnected. I think his game crashed. And that caused the lobby to break for a brief moment. And that also caused that he couldn't do his last run. So even though he's provisional P1 at the moment, um, that is very unfortunate for him. And yeah, good for us though. But very unfortunate for Isvan, who looked like he was fighting for pole position here. Now though, this is the lap where it counts, and this is the lap where we're going to try and get pole position again in league racing. Into Schijflak we go, flat out corner in qualifying. 
I actually had to lift a little bit there as I felt like the front wasn't quite gonna stick. Into another fast right and a downshift into sixth. Tom Manley through provisional pole with a point five one seven. Lucas improves on that, goes into the fours, and we're gonna have to find 1.5 tenths if we wanna get pole position here. DRS open, good improvement through there into the final chicane. Now can we find at least another half a tenth to fight for the front row? A little bit of gravel on our tires as we head on the exit. 1.2 tenth improvement, we need to find this little bit more in this final corner. Early on the power, we actually lost a little bit as the front didn't quite grip up. DRS open, up to the line we go. It's gonna be a 107.525 and... Mate, these idiots, like... It is P3, um, as Jake was waffling about idiots. I'm not actually sure what happened to him, but you can see that Eastern provisional pole and it turned into P9 because his game crashed. Uh, very unfortunate for him. But um, we are P3, quite happy with that. Uh, we did the exact same middle sector as Lucas, but I think we lost out in the first sector a little bit, perhaps. A little bit in the first sector, a uh, little bit in the last. As I actually run out of fuel well, on the line like as well. Most people run me on the medium, so at least... Guys yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm hard. on to the race we go now then. We're going to be starting what? on the mediums at the start of the race here. Alfie Butcher behind us on the hearts and everyone around us on the medium as well. It's going to be five red lights and... Away we go for round number 10 of WR. Lucas Blakely, our championship rival on pole position. Into turn one we go. We're going to go around the outside. Break really late to try and overtake Tom Manley around the outside. And now we are fully ahead of him. So into P2 we go. And now it's going to be a head to head fight with Lucas in the coming 36 laps of this race. Now, of course, we've got a big point advantage. But we cannot let Lucas finish ahead because that's going to be a 14 point swing and a seven point loss so very important that we uh, manage to win this head to head battle in the coming 36 laps a little bit of understeer there in that fast right and it was a bit scary if you get caught out on an outside curve your race is basically over and it's ggs so um you had to back out there lose a bit of lap time but in the coming few laps at least into the first pit window it doesn't really matter if we are P1 or P2, so I just decided to stay behind, not risk any incidents. And end of lap 40 now. Uh, you can start to box around now, I reckon. Um, I decided to go for a fake pit stop. Tom Manley and Josh do box for a new set of hearts, but it's 22 laps on the set of hearts. Um, and the tire is quite high around Sandford, so I decided to go longer here in this first stint. Um, and um, yeah, have better tires towards the end. Now, advantage of staying out longer is, of course, that you have better tires towards the end, but also um, you have to keep in mind safety cars are enabled in league racing. I see a lot of people always ask, uh, why are you staying out so long? And the question to that, or an answer to that is um, simply because once people have undercut you, um, you can of course trade away box after, but um, you're just going to come out right behind them. Um, and then you're going to be stuck the war race. So, um, might as well stay out with at least a chance to get them back later on and with the chance of a safety car of course which you need to keep in mind if you box and a few laps later safety car comes out your race is over uh, simple as that uh, because at least half the grid is still out on track on a harder compound especially the bottom half of the grid is still going to be out on a harder compound and boxing for a softer one so I decided to stay out once again when Lucas boxed because I knew that Tom Manley and Josh had gone for the undercut. And if I was ahead of Lucas, I wouldn't maybe gone for the move. Um, yeah. or I would have boxed, but um, yeah, I saw Jake behind me on hearts, uh, Alfie, Xander, and Freddy all on hearts. And I was like, yeah, at this point, I cannot get undercut by anyone else anymore. Um, I'm gonna come out in a net before, for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I can accept that. I'm happy with that, because then we only need to overtake three people. Um, and that's easy to do, so I stayed out another two laps and uh, now we're going to come out in the net before, probably around a few seconds behind, but we can easily catch it back up with the tire advantage, so boxing here at the end of lap 17 for a new set of hearts uh, Freddy, Freddy actually well. boxing already for mediums, and that is going to be quite a long stint quite a long final stint um, on those mediums, so I saw, I saw he might be a bit of a risk um the next few laps on a new set of mediums, of course. Uh, Tom Manley sets the fast lap of the race. They just get passes there into turn one. You can see them on the apex of turn one now. 
Josh behind still. So Lucas actually slotted in right behind Tom and right ahead of Josh, which um, was perfect for him. But that shows that if we would have boxed at the same time as Lucas, we would have been behind a train. So we would be in the exact same position as we are now, a few seconds up the road, um, with worse tires. Um, and yeah, it's it's a risk, of course, um, but it's a risk I want to um, I want to take. It's because at least in this scenario, we're in for the win. We can at least win the race. And if we box at the same lap as Lucas, we're not winning the race. Um, we might be sitting comfortably in P4, right behind George, of course, but. Um, yeah, I want to try and win the race, um, and not to mention, I want to take some risk I'll in league racing. In. I don't want to go for boring right. strategies all the time. I want to have some fun and have a have a spectacular win if we do win. <laughs> so um, on this outlap, though, uh, Freddy so far has only gained around two tens, I think. So we have not used any battery as well. So our outlap pace has been pretty good. We've lost a bit of pace to Josh, who of course is on warm tires, has DRS. So um, the top two might be pushing a little bit uh, to uh, make sure they both stay in the lead or not. Um, and yeah, now I'm going to try and push a little bit uh, to get into the DRS again. So two and a half seconds, Josh is ahead, but he is going to get dirty out to the next few corners. And that's, of course, a disadvantage from being so close. You do get DRS, gain a lot on the straight, but you lose it again in the high speed corners. We went purple in that first sector actually there. And yeah, just one half lap later, we are back in the DRS. Um, however, we have used up our battery a lot. And now uh, we're gonna try and recharge that in the coming few laps. Alfie behind us on one lap fresh tires and Freddy, I think so. Um, and yeah, Freddy hasn't made a lot of inroads yet as well. So uh, the mediums are not a lot faster at the moment. And uh, we're gonna get DRS once again. I'm not gonna be using my battery here unless I have to defend. And covering up the inside there from Alfie, who goes down the inside. I decided to turn on the overtake, but he hits my rear and sends me wide, which, uh, yeah, I mean, interesting Mario Kart strategy to overtake someone. But um, I'm not sure that's how you're supposed to overtake someone, driving into someone's rear tire to overtake them. Anyway, one lap later. Uh, like, this is exactly what I was talking about. Absolute clown, man. This guy has got absolute zero wheel knowledge. He <laughs> just straight lined two people. Um, uh, yeah, uh, fair enough. If that's how you want to race, to <laughs> good for you. But uh, yeah. I don't think this is the right way to race uh, at all. So um, I'm gonna stay out uh, in this safe safety car. Make sure to push. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Lucas, um, however, dead box ahead of us. Uh, he was quite far ahead, of course. Uh, because of the undercut and he felt like boxing was the better call now sound for this are very very hard track to overtake so i decided to Sander stay out used. uh my one lap sanders hey no track let me go go on up. now i decided to stay out uh, simply because i only got medium runners behind me um but the disadvantage is of course that jake was only on one lap old mediums and we are now on seven lap old hearts so in the first few laps we are gonna be struggling that's for sure but um i felt like if i box when you do it yeah for new tires i was not gonna make it back into p1 so staying out here felt like the better call and we got freddy right behind us on the similar age tires exact same tires final corner. but we are on i can't hearts i'm getting throttle limited what such a joke, man. As uh, on the safety car restart, I tried to go flat out out of the final corner, but the game was like, nah, we're not doing that today. Uh, safety car throttle limiter kicking in once again, and it's literally the worst future in F1 games. I cannot think of anything worse or more frustrating than the safety car throttle limiter. Um, because, yeah, they just ruin safety car restarts. Um, I really don't get it. I say it every single time on the safety car restart, but honestly, it's so frustrating. Um, so yeah, I uh, I get so frustrated when it happens every single time. And now we return onto uh, racing after our usual safety car restart rant. Um, we are in the lead still, actually. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I think me and Freddy have similar levels of grip at the moment. Um, as he is, of course, on the softer tire, but oh. um, they start to level out over time compared to the hearts. And Xander, Jake, both on quite fresh mediums, and then Jet on new softs. Um, he's going to be cooking for sure and trying to get past Jake. And the advantage we have now is that everyone behind us is on a warpath trying to make track position and we're just chilling in P1. Um, of course in the coming few laps it's going to get harder but the advantage we have is that we can basically stay in the lead and not use ERS whereas the guys behind are fighting so hard um, to get to the front. They're going to be in incidents, they're going to be using their entire battery to make up track position and we're just chilling in P1 um, living life and hoping that we can hold on to this. Um, however, DRS is going to be enabled soon, and that is going to make life a lot harder. Oh, um, as you uh, Getting contact with, contact with Freddy, he said he was going to let him go, so I assume it was his mistake. But Whoa, once you just tried you, to swipe me! <laughs> once you uh, have to let people go, uh, that means the guys behind you are obviously instantly going to try and pass you. So uh, it's always a tricky one after you get into an incident to let people go, because you might be losing a lot more positions. So, um, oh my god, this one's soft, man. As uh, Jet now behind Jake. Um, as I said, there's a war going on behind us, and we are just chilling in front. One lap later, though, DRS enabled, and this is where it starts getting tough. Because Jake wants to get past Freddy. I want to stay in the lead. And into turn one, we're going to go down the inside, or keep the inside from Freddy. Um, however, he's going to have more momentum on the exit, and I decided to let him go. Um, and ideally, me and Jake, uh, Freddy um, flashing, are going to be P1, P2. Yeah, and as you can hear me say there, Freddy flashing, which means he's below 10% ERS and we are on 70%. That is a huge, huge difference. Um, and I'm not sure what Jake is on, of course, but he has still much, much more grip than us. And um, everyone behind Josh actually on new softs as well after his incident. So. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah we need to uh, we need to try and both get into the lead so that we can protect yeah, each other a little bit and just anyway. yeah um, keep the one two nah, going mate. as uh, there's more battling going on behind uh, it, it is chaos it's absolutely chaos uh, you cannot see it too much from our POV hey. but in the midfield it's fully mixed with people on used tires and people on brand new tires and they all want to pass each other instantly so as you oh can my see God, there suggesting people crash on the straight yeah yeah <laughs> so, so. lucas oh see, it's oh gone. my god i hope i don't know if that uh, yeah, no this is not about. making it very nice to be honest are like are we staying out or uh, it depends how many people at the back got damaged right so, uh, I don't know, I will. I decided to box here for a new set of softs. Lucas Blakely, our championship rival, out after a crash on the straight. Yes, you've heard that correct. A crash yeah. on the start-finish straight. Hmm. Um, which was not Jake even his Josh fault. He stay out. Atomic on the freshest medium. He was just a bystander of a crash and he was unlucky to uh, get terminal damage. So There's a big risk. Well. We are boxing for new softs uh, here. Not too far behind. He had what? A few. And Alfie had on me. Let's see what he pulls this time. <laughs> As now the question is, how many more laps of racing is there gonna be? That can't be right. No? And as you can see there, right, well, instantly the safety yeah. car is coming in. So we're gonna get five full laps of racing, which is great news for us because we are on a brand new set of oh softs. Basically, the front runner of new tires and a lot of On people ahead of us wait until start finish. have boxed going for new oh, tires in the previous safety car, but we now. I might, I'm not going full. Oh. That's such a joke, man. <laughs> As we now couldn't quite catch up because of the safety car limiter. Um, so we're gonna have to be a little bit more patient with overtaking anyone. We're currently MP8 and are gonna try to somehow get back into the lead in the coming few laps. Um, trying a different line here into turn four. Couldn't quite pull it off though. Um, there's marbles on the actual racing line there. 
um, and a very frustrating future on F123. But now you can see into the fast right and we've got so much more grip. We're gonna go for the move straight away down the inside. We're sending it down the inside and we completely cleared Alfie before um, the Apex has... I saw the pack bunch up there a little bit, so... I uh, decided to take a little bit of avoiding action into the left hander. You can see we're in a completely different field at the moment. It's like we're driving a different race car on these new softs around the outside. And a hairpin, Xander tries to defend, leaves the space nicely and doesn't push it off, off track. Tomek tried to go for the switchback, but we had so much more grip. We could slip down the inside and up to P5. Three people overtaken in the opening lap of the restart. And we still got four laps to go. We can still win this. We only need to overtake one person per lap in order to still win this race. And we have the opportunity. That first opening lap was the most crucial. We've used a bit of our battery, again trying a different line, but it's just not possible because of the marbles on the outside. Um, and it's so frustrating because you could drive so many different lines through there if marbles were not an issue, but once again, going to the fast right hand. You can see the grip advantage we oh have. And Josh goes defensive. A little bit of my mistake. And now on the switchback, we're going to get Josh in the next right hander. Anyway, Jet goes wide though and goes into the grass. And up to P3 we go with still three and a half laps of racing. You can see how much more grip we have. And now we've got Nicolas behind us on brand new softs as well. Now can we find a way through Freddy before the end of this lap? That will be crucial because that means we can somehow get past Jake in the opening lap a little bit of gravel on our rear tire trying to find a way past freddy here and you can see we can get so much early on full throttle and instantly into p2 on the exit now i'm gonna turn on the overtake button and go for a move into turn one on jake with the help of the overtake button I'm and the slipstream i'm gonna send it down the inside as you can hear me say and into the lead of the race we go within two laps we've gone from p8 to p1 and what at two opening laps these were. Josh retired from the race on the straight again as well. I'm not sure what happened to him. But three I laps to go. Happened. And we are already back into the lead of the race. It's been a crazy few Sorry, opening I laps. I forgot how it happened. And we have somehow Sorry, managed to get can into... you hold back a little bit? Yeah. On pace? P1 again, and as you can hear Jake say, can you hold back on pace? Which we of course can do, because we've got no threat from behind anymore. We've got Nicolas, oh, but... I don't have to. Um, <laughs> as I actually hit the grass a little bit there, which is really stupid. I was more focusing on holding back than uh, actually the driving. Um, and yeah, we're holding back simply to give Jake DRS in the coming few laps. Now, what we're going to do is, once Jake starts battling with Nicolas, we're going to pull off into the distance um, and break the DRS because we do not want to lose the lead to Nicolas on the final lap. Um, but until then, we're going to try and help Jake to keep that P2. He's an old mediums, of course, and struggling. Um, has a lot less pace, arguably one and a half to two seconds slower tires. Um, it's, it's starting to level out, of course, around now. Um, but yeah, we are gonna try and help him, of course. Nicolas probably has around similar ERS levels to us. How much ERS do you have? 80. Okay. And. Yeah, Nicolas similar ERS levels to us simply because he had to fight through the field similar to us. Um, and yeah, Jake didn't. And that's what I was talking about. The ERS levels are so much better if you can just keep the lead. Because you don't have to fight through the field. You can just, yeah, stay there. You don't have to battle the new tire on us too hard if they do come. I'm pushing. Um, and yeah, yeah, go, go. yeah, Nico now did get past and I decided to instantly um, pull the pin and go for it. And Jake actually managed to re-overtake him um, on the next DRS trade because he had DRS. And again, same for the start-finish trade here. Um, Jake is going to get DRS. So there's going to be another free pass. And he doesn't have a lot of DRS, I think so. He had to make the same moves yeah. as me. And yeah, as you can hear me say, uh, Nicholas doesn't have a lot of DRS. Jake gets into P2 again. And it's another 1-2. Um, but the question is now, can Jake hold on to this uh, second place in this metal sector? Um, we are definitely going to win this race quite easily. Uh, we're not under threat of any penalty simply because we have not caused any incidents this world race. Um, and um, yeah, we're going to extend our championship lead, championship lead by another 25 points, of course, because Lucas is out of the race. Any DRS? For the final straight? 
Oh, ich nicht. Hat die Pusche hat I think it's more than enough. Okay, rest to defend. See, I can hear me say that. I was trying to talk to Jake, but he had muted himself or deafened himself. Um, I was telling him, do I need to slow down to give you DRS or not? And um, he, he was deafened, so he couldn't hear me. So I thought he didn't need it. Uh, as he had a lot of ERS, of course, I was as he was talking about. But um, unfortunately, oh, he gonna be close. did get overtaken uh, on the line. <laughs> Didn't yeah, like it. I should have slowed down. So yeah, in the future I probably should slow down. Um, um, but yeah, I just thought he was safe. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. 25 point gain in the championship, which means we're gonna be leading by 63 points. Hope you guys enjoyed this chaotic league race once again. Make sure to like and subscribe, and see you guys next time. Ciao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the AMG, no bitch, you